Welcome to Innovations. I'm Kathleen Berger. Swizzle developed artificial intelligence for influencer marketing as influencers are today's new celebrities having followers online. The Korean-based startup Swizzle chose St. Louis to launch operations in the United States. That's after close consideration of the country's most desirable cities for tech startups serendipity in Seoul. That may be the best way to describe Nick Zabo's success. The University of Missouri St. Louis graduate moved to Seoul, South Korea for his wife's job, where he started a family and fell into an entrepreneurial dream. It's a massive startup scene. I mean, it's, I think it's the largest in the world right now. Um, just a ton of Small companies trying to do stuff. The Korean government puts a lot of money into the scene. Using his people skills and marketing background, Zabo mingled, forming a bond with Korean startup Swizzle. The, the company is called Idea Above, and they had a product called Swizzle, and I just got along with them very well. Already having a digital marketing background, Zabo became part of the company as it evolved unveiling a new product for online marketing, Swizzle Labs. Swizzle technology provides an analytical tool for influencer marketing. Because the world has shifted to social media, blogs, YouTube, and online entertainment, influencers are the new class of celebrities. The online personalities are the new, authentic force behind brands, the latest form of celebrity endorsement. They can be regular people, established bloggers sharing what they know, products they like, and why. Influencers now have a much larger impact. You, know, you can have one, the right YouTuber, who says one video about one product, and suddenly that product just explodes because all of their people watching it which can be tens and hundreds and thousands or even millions of people um, are all following that person and really trust that person. Traditionally, influencer marketing analysis works like this. So they go through every post and they copy the words in the post. They look at what the link is, like copy the link address. You know what I mean? So they see where the link is. They look at how many likes it's gotten, how many shares it's gotten, what and how many comments it's gotten. And then do that for every single one, right? And she posts like a ton every hour, you know what I mean? So there's a bunch. And they do that for like two weeks and then try to go back. And it takes them a couple of days to do this. And then once they have all that information in an Excel spreadsheet, they'll go ahead and then compare that information and try to identify which posts performed better. That's just part of it. The days or weeks it takes to complete, Zabo says, is wasted time. So Swizzle has built Influencer Marketing Analytics, a program that uses artificial intelligence. It's not the kind that's feared, Zabo says. It's simply for market research. I'm creating a program that basically automates market research. Nobody's going to die. Like, worst case scenario that'll happen is I'll get rid of jobs. And that's another real concern with AI. That's because the software can do things people can't. Zabo says this captures and analyzes everything an influencer posts online and all the corresponding comments from their audience. Hoping to make a big splash in the US, Swizzle decided to set up office space in America. And it was decided that Zabo, now the chief operating officer, was the person for the job. Zabo says he was looking at Silicon right, so Valley, New York City, Austin, up. Texas, the Put tech startup there. hubs that he knew. St. Louis was not on his list until he says he just couldn't ignore the signs. Because it kept popping up. Everybody's saying to go check it out. There's stuff going on. And I was floored. I mean, there's so much happening in St. Louis. St. Louis is ranked among the fastest growing cities for tech startups and is named the fastest growing for startup funding. Arch Grants became one of the resources and Swizzle won a $50,000 Arch Grant, which helped with the move. Swizzle is now operating out of the T-Rex building, a premier co-working space and technology incubator in downtown St. Louis. From here, Swizzle is gaining new ground and interest in the company is growing. Artificial intelligence is actually very broad. 
Um, but basically, the idea of it is that you can have programs that can learn, because there's a billion different ways to say every single thing, right? With artificial intelligence, though, you can start to teach it the way that you actually understand language. Faster than humanly possible, Swizzle claims to identify an influencer's exact market niche, determining what their followers think, read, view, and feel from a massive amount of content. Michelle Phan is, if not the top, definitely one of the top um, beauty YouTubers on the planet, right? She's got a gajillion followers. She's very well respected. Um, she has a lot of power. But this is basically what the program sees. Um, it, it looks like a keyword cloud, um, but you know, each of these is a topic and it goes in and there's a bunch of keywords inside of it. And this is kind of what it looks at. And then it can actually see relationships you know, between different things. Like when you're looking at this, you can see that her audience is asking her, what makeup products did you use? Um, they are happy about like, you know, you can see kind of some of this stuff where it's, hey, you have amazing talent, but please do a drawing tutorial of like, so this is like real quality comment that you're actually looking for. Um, versus all of the clutter. And he shows how Swizzle finds it without effort. This one video, there's 830 comments. She has hundreds of videos. I mean, they will go on forever. Each of them has a gajillion comments. Here's an example where somebody is actually buying a product because of her video, but he got value out of this video that would never show up by looking at how many followers or how many people clicked on a link or anything, you know? And it was just her talking about it. In this rave, and right now, what just happened is because of this video and you reading that comment, you're buying a brush. Which is why Zabo says influencers need to get swizzle for endorsement agreements and maintaining influence. And so what kind of content of yours is actually doing better than others and why? Um, kind of removing that whole, I'm doing everything based on my gut feeling and doing it more based on actual information allows you to increase your influence more. From Seoul to St. Louis, the hope is for Swizzle's influence to sweep the globe.